All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we have the flame on medium high and we're gonna warm up some olive oil. We're gonna go with one and a half tablespoons. Put a little bit too much, let me put it back. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and let that warm up. We would run the pot real quick. Again, this is my homemade gravy. Now let's see if it's hot enough. Put a little piece of onion in there. All right, it is sizzling, so let's go ahead and add our chopped up onion and our grated carrot that we grated with the microplane zester. Go ahead and just stir that around a little bit. Let it absorb some oil. And now we're gonna put the lid on and lower the flame to medium low and just let it cook for about 15 minutes. So next we have our San Marzano tomatoes, which are these right here. Um, they are whole peeled. And as you can see, this is what they look like. We're, they are plum tomatoes. We're gonna put them in the blender and go ahead and blend them up to a consistency that we like. These San Marzano tomatoes are the key to success for the homemade gravy. So as you can see here, our plum tomatoes have been blended. We also have, that's two cans of the San Marzano tomatoes. We also have two big cans of crushed tomatoes and one regular size can of tomato pigs that we're gonna use for the sauce. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at our onions and carrots. As you can see, they are steaming very well. At this point, we're gonna add some kosher salt and pepper, just a quick little pinch, just to, just to let it sweat a little bit. We will be adding some more salt later. Gave it a good mix, and now we're just gonna let it sweat for about maybe five more minutes, making it 10 minutes in total, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we've raised up our flame to medium heat because we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic now. You can get a whole garlic and just put it in there, let it absorb, but you would need a little bit more oil. Um, in this case, I'm using minced garlic, about three cloves worth, and we're just gonna go ahead and add it to the middle. We're gonna go ahead and let that warm up a little bit. Now that it's getting fragrant, we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up so that it doesn't burn on us. And at this point, we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. About maybe a teaspoon worth, mix it all up and on to the next step. So now at this point, we're gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Just put a little bit, not too much, because it's gonna really take over the, the flavor. And we're also gonna add some oregano, about one, ta about one teaspoon per worth per can, maybe a little bit less. So, I don't know, maybe two and a half teaspoons or so. Give it a quick mix. Lower the flame back down to medium low. At 
This is where we add our sugar. Usually about one tablespoon per can. I'm gonna go maybe about three. Just put it right on top. Give that a quick mix. All this time we're going ahead and just letting the vinegar cook off. Add some salt and pepper. Again, just a little bit of salt because we are salting throughout the whole process. And at this point, we're gonna add about one tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of tomato paste. Mix it all up. And you want this tomato paste to actually cook a little bit so it tries a little bit dark, like brownish kind of color, I guess you could say. That's really gonna intensify the flavor of the sauce. So now that our tomato paste has been cooking for a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add the crushed tomatoes, both cans. And now we're gonna add our San Marzano tomatoes that we blended up earlier. We're gonna give that all a quick stir. Actually, a, a decent stir. Just to really get that tomato paste from the bottom with the onions and the carrots and all the flavors up into the sauce. Okay. So next we're adding two bay leaves and we're gonna put some basil leaves since we don't have um, fresh basil. Normally I would put fresh basil, but add it to your taste. We're also gonna add some salt. Now remember, you don't wanna overdo it with the salt because we were adding a little bits of salt earlier. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this all a good mix. Get it really in there. Um, this is the time that you will go ahead and taste it for the salt and to see if it's sweet as you want it. If you wanna add more sugar, now is the time to do it. You can add one, two, three more spoons of sugar, whatever you want, and um, just to your tasting. And then we're gonna let it cook. After it comes to a quick boil, we're gonna simmer it for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and then it should be done. I forgot to mention one thing, which is um, add a little bit of water to your tomato, um, to one can of the open tomatoes that you have. Um, swirl it around the can, add it to, and add that water to every other can, and add it to the dish where the San Marzano tomatoes were, and just you know collect that remaining tomato sauce and add it to your to your pot. Give it a another good stir. Let it come to a quick boil, and then we're gonna go ahead and simmer it. Okay, so now that it's starting to boil, we're gonna give it another stir. And then we're just gonna put the lid back on and leave it cracked open. Like that, we're gonna leave it open. Let me adjust the camera so you can see. So, so as you can see, there's a gap between the lid and the stove and the pot. We're gonna leave it like that, lower our flame to medium low and just let it simmer for at least 45 minutes to an hour. The longer you do it, the better it, it's gonna taste. Just stir every 20 minutes or so from the bottom, make sure nothing's burning. You don't wanna get anything burnt into the sauce. We'll see you at the end. All right guys, we are done making our homemade sauce. As you can see, it's fully done. It reduced about three inches in the pot after simmering for over an hour, 
closer to an hour and a half. I'm actually gonna turn it back on and add in these homemade chicken meatballs I just made in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and add them, let them cook in the sauce, and have a wonderful dinner. Guys, if you like enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more future content, and share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, be blessed.